There was a Wall Street Journal article some years ago. A guy pulls over because they were taking the American flag down, and he it was a big flag, and kind of a windy day, and he held on to just be helpful. A gust of wind catches the flag, picks him up, and hurts his back. And a flag maker was named in the suit. He said, it wasn't even my flag. And they settled for six grand. He said, if we'd gone to court, it would have cost you at least 10. To what extent, when we hear these, are they true? I mean, certainly there's some exaggerations, but are there problems along these lines that need to be cleaned up? Are there charlatans in the industry, whether or not they're members of your association? That, and if there are, uh, is there any policing mechanism to try to say, you know, when someone brings a suit, it's going to be for legitimate reasons, as you would represent. Uh, here's a client that's been injured in one form or another. Sure. So there's there's good lawyers and there's bad lawyers. There's good doctors and bad doctors. There's good uh, journalists, journalists and reporters, <laughs> and, and, there's, reporters and there's bad ones, right? So that that you know that runs. That's true of of every profession. And right. we do in the legal profession have a mechanism called the ARDC where if the public feels that it's been treated unfairly or wrongly by a lawyer, it can be reported and it is investigated in every single case. And it's thoroughly investigated. And if there's any merit to it, the ARDC will uh, you know, censure and punish the lawyer and in some cases take away their license. So that, and that happens on a regular basis. And it's unfortunate that those lawyers are out there but we have a mechanism in place to police them. Now here's the second thing though. Each case that's brought, you know, is going to have a judge and ultimately if a jury is requested will be decided by a jury. If the case is as frivolous as you say, and this flag case sounds very suspicious to me, so that I, I can't even imagine filing a case against a flag manufacturer for those facts. But if somebody did that, there should be a judge who sits in that courtroom and there's a procedure called summary judgment where the defendant can bring a motion for summary judgment and say, judge, you know, I can't be sued for making a flag in these circumstances. And the judge in that case should throw that out. And there should not be a payment. And if some insurance company makes a, a business decision about paying frivolous suits, well then shame on them. Don't pay frivolous suits. I don't believe in it. I don't file them. I don't think they should be paid. I don't think they should be brought. And, and most of the insurance companies I'm familiar with, the smart ones, don't pay on them, and they shouldn't.